Hello everybody, welcome back to RenderBots and today we're going to be looking at 3D printing in Cinema 4D. Um, this is such a cool subject and when it comes to 3D printing there's so much you can do and so many places to go to get your uh, design printed in 3D. The great thing is that Cinema 4D can export your file out as a .stl file uh, um, and you can get it printed. Um, Here's a little example. There you go. Mr. Renderbot himself, looking rather glorious. Um, as you can see, I've got him uh, printed out. He's come up really, really well. I'm really, really pleased uh, with the design. And I'm gonna show you how I got him done um, using a service online. So there he is. Looks pretty cool, right? So there's Mr. 3D printed uh, Renderbot there. I have painted him as well. He came in a kind of a, a resin color, so I painted his little black eyes. Okay, so enough of that. So 3D printing. Um, as I say, it's a big subject at the moment and uh, one that's ever increasing. I thought what I'd do is, is I'd show you um, one of the main companies that kind of started uh, a lot of this off, and that's the MakerBot. Um, and this is their website, uh, makerbot.com. And as you can see, uh, they've got some really complex printers now. Um, and you can click on some of these and have a look. And as you can see, they're just absolutely glorious. Um, again, and so is the price, right? Um, they can be pretty expensive. And each uh, printer will have um, certain attributes that will suit your needs. Um, obviously, a lot of for me, it's all about the detail, getting really good detail out of a print. Uh, for some people, it's all about form factor. So if we look at things from MakerBot, um, they've got you know this brand new uh, one coming out which is really tall as you can see here it's showing you you can create sort of like a mask inside of there um, again that's going to suit certain person's needs but as you can see the price again it's it's quite high right it's quite high price so there's makerbot.com uh, take a look there that's some of the most well some of the best printers you can you can kind of buy uh, there uh, next up i've chosen something called the up and here we go so it's up 3 dusacom and these guys again started off with quite an affordable printer. Um, it's got good reviews. Um, as it says, DIY price under a thousand pounds, a thousand dollars, should I say? Get down from the UK, guys. So um, <laughs> I tend to uh, talk about pounds. But there we go. So you can see all the models they've got there. And uh, so go and take a look at that website there. So that's up 3 dusacom And of course, another place to buy printers is, of course. Um, eBay right so you do a simple search on eBay and you'll see the see inside there you've got with 3d printers and as you see because I'm in the UK uh, we've got uh, 599 there all the way down to uh, this lovely one here look uh, cubify printer 599 pounds uh, that's a really good price for a 3d printer and you know uh, it's really cool uh, one thing to be um, aware of is obviously um, when you buy the 3D printer you will need to buy uh, the filament that goes into it. And as you can see we've got this thing called ABS plastic and also PLA. There's two types of um, materials you can use inside of a 3D printer. Uh, again we've got different sizes of filament as well 1.75 and 3mm and I love it because you know as this stuff gets more popular the price of this does come down as well so you know you could be printing for about 12 uh, 12 pounds a barrel you know a barrel of the filament which will do huge amounts so as you see um, eBay really is taking um, um, the guesswork out of all of this and it's making it easier if you to buy your printer and as you see they've got the 3d one there again at the moment um, I don't like to sort of um, make my videos um, I, I don't like to put them in a box because um, you can film all year round, but I'm filming this in uh, May 2014. Okay, so these are the prices at the moment, so that's in May 2014. So take a look on eBay, it's really good. Um, another great resource to um, look for your own printer um, is Kickstarter. And again, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm talking in May 2014 here, and I have just backed my very own first printer. Um, there's a company called um, M3D, and they hit the market uh, recently with this Kickstarter campaign. And quite simply, um, what they did is they produced the first um, fully um, full printer for an astounding and I really mean this, astounding, uh, $299. So they were 
given this printer for, uh, to you guys uh, for $299. Now again, where I am in this time frame right now, that is super cheap for a printer. And they have sold loads. And if you take a look at this project, um, $3,401,000. Um, uh, that's incredible. So that's over 11,855 printers um, gone out to them. Um, so I was lucky enough to jump on this. Unfortunately, um, obviously at the time of doing this, the, the funding has now ended and been complete. They're looking to ship these in July 2015. So again, when it gets here, I'm, there's going to be a full review from me on the uh, M3D. So I'm really looking forward to receiving um, my 3D printer. Um, just can't wait. Um, they also did a great deal on the filament as well. But I mean, take a look. I mean, things may have changed uh, since I've recorded this. So uh, the micro3dl.com, head over to there. It's looking like a really hot project. But again, Kickstarter, a great resource to finding cheap, uh, affordable printers uh, for you to use. Okay, so what else? Um, now, as I said, there's loads of, um, as opposed to buying your own 3D printer, there's loads of places to get yours printed. So as I said, I don't have one, I got my little render bot here uh, printed off. Um, and there's loads of places you can go to do this. Um, a, a great one is uh, Shapeways. Uh, this has started to be around forever, as far as I know. And again, the idea is you can upload uh, your design to Shapeways and they will print it off and also um, allow people to um, download it and, and buy it as well, which is pretty awesome. You can make an object and somebody else can download it. Uh, actually see iPhone cases forever popular. Um, <laughs> got some really crazy stuff inside here, but it's a great uh, great idea. And again, Shapeway is probably one of the first companies I know out there that you could actually upload a design and get it printed, but also have a, have your own online store and sell your 3D ideas. Um, just incredible. Um, another cool resource, now obviously Shapeways and uh, another company I'll show you in a second, um, sometimes quite far away from where you are. Uh, here's a really cool resource and it's called 3dhubs.com. Okay, now 3dhubs.com uh, is just phenomenal as you see the minute you uh, go to the website it says find a 3d printer near you so um it's going to do exactly that so if i type in here uh, shropshire because that's where i live in the united kingdom you can see here it says hey we've got seven print hubs in and around your area and it shows me the little map here with these little drop things again this was really cool when i found this found this uh, website out. and the idea is guys if you buy uh, your own 3D printer, you can actually um, use it to make money. And the idea is you register your 3D printer with 3dhubs.com. And um, when you register that, uh, people then can send you designs to your emails. And 3D Hubs kind of ha manages all of, kind of think of it a little bit like eBay. It kind of manages all the, your account and the money coming in and, and, and obviously you sending that. Um, print back out to the person. Of course, it's local, so it's quite nice. You might even meet the person who's going to print yeah, your 3D print, or they'll deliver it to your house. I think it's a really, really cool service. So just by typing in uh, your postcode or, or zip code, um, you can find uh, that printer. So let's have a look at one here. So there's somebody in Wolverhampton here, and he's using the Up printer. So we saw the Up um, earlier. So we can see that he's using that. Uh, again, this is really cool because it gives, gives you an idea of um, probably the print quality you're going to get um, from your uh, 3D print. It tells you what colors um, are available that this guy is printing from. Again, all those spools we saw again earlier. Uh, so if I hit View, it'll t show me who this person is. So it's the RSA Academy Hub. Um, this is what he charges. Um, the startup cost is £6.30 per job. So actually, it could be really cheap. And again, uh, this little fella could cost you um, around that size, about um, only about £13, something like that to get printed out, which ain't bad for your own little character, right? Um, so if I want to select him, I could sort of say, okay, if I, if I create an account, I can log in. I could select this guy. And he'll um, he'll ask me to upload my design, which again I'm going to show you in a few seconds how to do out of Cinema 4D. And um, again, he'll uh, he'll get that printed out for you and give you the end price as well. Um, it's really cool, and 3D Hubs is growing exponentially. But the more that uh, people buy their printers and start registering them with 3D Hubs, uh, you know, the more we'll get things uh, printed out and at a good price to you. And so I think yeah, 3D Hubs 
is probably one of the best websites I've ever found. And I guarantee you, you'll find a printer next to you. So how did I create um, Mr. Renderbot here? Um, very simple. Um, what I did is I went into cinema. So let's go to cinema here. And here he is. Here's my little, here's my little character here, Mr. Renderbot. So, um, I was just playing with some little animation with a little uh, flip up thing was inside of here. And what I did was is I take my design and again, it could be anything inside of here, anything inside of here. And we've got to export this out as a .stl. So if I go to file, um, export, and I come all the way through to here and I see the word uh, .stl. Click on that. It says, okay, nice and easy. Let's get desktop there and let's type in uh, bot print. And I'm going to press save. Okay, it's going to ask me what scale it is. Um, and to be honest with you, I'll never really worry about this. I don't know whether I have to worry about this, but I never worried about this too much. I left it as it was. Excuse me. Uh, I press OK. I can now minimize. And there is my um, uh, STL file right here. Okay, there it is. Now, again, the way I did this is um, I've got my file there. I could probably use Shapeways, but um, I actually use this company here, and it's called um, Sculptio.com. Uh, okay, and very simply, again, I've created a free account, and a bit like Shapeways, Sculptio um, will show you some really, really cool stuff. Um, look at this. It's just brilliant. So um, what I'm going to do is I've already logged in. There's my uh, name there, and I'm going to press Upload a File. It says, OK, show me uh, the file. So select the file on desktop. Uh, there we go. Botprint.stl. Press choose. And as you see, it's loading it in. Now we go um, my bot. Uh, bot name. His name is Renderbot. Ooh, there we go. Um, I'll make this private. I don't want anybody else to see my model. This might be... Um, you know, something private that you might want to uh, build for your family personally. Um, I could choose a category here. So um, I'll put figurines and miniatures. Um, but there we go. So that's all I'm going to put in there. Again, you can be as um, type one if you want in there. So it's uploaded it nice and simple 1.4 megabytes. The design name is Renderbot. Uh, category is that. I'm going to press the word uh, next now. Again, what it's doing is it's uploading uh, my design. Um, to Sculptio. Okay, once it's designed, look at that. Fabulous, right? So there he is. There's my bot um, in that pose as well. So, you know, I could get this printed out in loads of different poses. Um, I love this. It's so cool. And it's saying, obviously, uh, you know, with these dimensions, um, so it's like nine centimeters high. It's pretty high, right? It's going to cost me 29 euros um, to get shipped. Again, that's quite a lot. I think this comes from America, so um, they do come from uh, quite a far way. Uh, what's cool is um, I can actually click on this and maneuver it around, have a look at the top, look underneath, and make sure he's looking pretty good in his 3Dness there. Um, what's interesting is that. Um, if I go to review, and this is really important here, if I go to review, it shows me potential problems with my model. Now, again, we don't know, uh, or I didn't know too much about this originally. And you see here that it says that under the review, it's colored his, um, his tips in red here. There's also a little spot on top of his helmet there. And I must admit, when I got him printed out, um, his hands didn't come out too well at all. In fact, I think some of them may have broken off um, initially. Um, luckily, his little um, aerial has um, survived quite well. Um, so the idea is, you know, it says it's too thin, and this is probably a problem for Sculptio to print. And indeed, if you had your own 3D printer at home, you may have an issue with the thinness here. So it's good that it's there to let you know that it may be a problem. Again, um, May, you may need to go back and change that design, uh, make his uh, fingers a little bit fatter. So that review for me was really, really important. So once I was happy with this, uh, I've got the word materials here. And it's great because, again, we can see here that these are the colours that Sculptio can print them off. Um, I think I went for this little polished finish here. So he came out with a bit of plosh. But as you can see, we can make him black. You see that design straight away appearing here, uh, which is cool. Uh, red. 
and I love it, it's, it's really cool. But look what else we've got in here, things like silver, uh, polished silver, but look at the price, boom, 842 uh, euros, which is a huge amount. Um, so there you go, so um, if I choose resin, that's cool, let's leave it at that. Oh no, let's go plastic and make it cheaper, a lot cheaper. Um, review and check out. And then simply um, add to basket. And by doing that, um, adding it to basket, um, there's the price. I can press check out and obviously just put my um, my credit card details. And then you're gonna get Mr. Renderbot delivered to your house. Um, I again I think it's a it's a brilliant idea 3d printing is the way forward they're getting so much better so much clearer detail and also they're starting to use different filament colors as well so something we're seeing up, up and coming is having not just one color to make one object but actually um, having um, up to three uh, there's prints that can do three colors now um, this is so cool and uh, again for us it can only get better as the consumer um, again, uh, when January rolls around in about six, seven months' time, I'll have my first 3D print, and I really look forward to sharing that with you. Until then, guys, um, thanks very much for watching this little uh, demonstration of uh, 3D printing inside of Cinema 4D. As you see, it's super simple. We've only got to export whatever we want outside of that. Loads of places for you to have a look at. I'll keep a link of these um, down there for you to have a click through. Um, until next time. Thanks for watching. Um, it's a pleasure for me to share that information with you. Um, anything else, uh, put it in the comments below and share it with the community. It'd be great to hear what you've got to say about 3D printing. Until then, next time, happy rendering. Take care. Bye-bye.